Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay, so one of the biggest questions that I've been getting is how long does it take for me to get benefits from hydrogen? Because people are literally writing me saying things like, I'm not getting much benefit or I'm not getting any benefit, what's going on? So the first question I ask is, okay, you know, how are you making your hydrogen and how much are you consuming? The number one answer I get above all is, well, I'm using hydrogen pills. Well, no wonder you're not really getting much benefit because you guys have to understand a lot of about these things. First of all, in order to get therapeutic grade hydrogen and the amount of hydrogen in you that you're gonna to require to really improve your health, you just can't do it with the pills. You're limited to the number of pills you can take because not only the pills put a strain on your body, I mean, there's ingredients in here that are obviously not good for you, they're not good for your immune system, and you can't consume over a certain amount. In fact, a lot of the new bottles literally say, you know, you can't consume over a certain number of pills. And obviously they also say things like, don't give these to children, don't give them to pregnant women. You, and if you have kidney issues, you do not wanna be taking these either. So here's the thing, if you're gonna be using this method, it just doesn't work. And ironically, I know that they're cheapest initially, but they're probably the most expensive way to consume hydrogen for long term. And that's the whole point of this video is addressing how long does it take to really get benefits. So this is a very bad idea, these don't work at all. So that was the first thing. Uh, the second one is, and I talked to somebody who I had a very good conversation with recently, and they had questions about these little portable bottles. Now, one thing that he made clear was he said, look, I know that it's gonna be leaching metal into the water. He knows it, he's like, I understand the science of it. And if anybody tells you otherwise, they just don't understand science. He, he was very clear about this. So that's one part. And obviously leaching metal into your water is not good for your immune system. That also has a negative impact. And if you're trying to improve your health, that doesn't make any sense either. Also, when you electrolyze the water, it creates unnatural gases within the water, which are also not good for your immune system. But his thought was, hey, if I just consume like one of these a day, that's minimal exposure to the metal and these other gases, and I should get the benefits of hydrogen, right? Wrong. <laughs> it doesn't work that way because you're gonna have to consume, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys, you have to consume a lot of hydrogen in order to truly get the benefits, and you have to be patient and wait for those benefits to really, really come on. So in this particular case, you'd probably have to consume like, I don't know, eight to 10 of these bottles every single day. Once I told him that, he's like, okay, that's a lot of exposure. Exposure. Maybe not just for a day or for a week or for a month, but for months and years, guys, this doesn't work at all. It's a very bad idea. So to answer the question, and if you compare it, for example, if you compare it to like what I use, look at this thing. I mean, the size difference, it's pretty massive. Okay, so here's the thing. How long will it take? Now, there's a lot of factors. One is like your age, for example. That's one important one. What your condition is. I'm not even sure if hydrogen, you know, you have to make sure that hydrogen could be beneficial for whatever condition is that you're dealing with and how long you've had this condition. Because what I've seen, there was somebody who had a condition for like 30 years and it took him three years of consuming hydrogen regularly before that condition did not show up on a medical test and he no longer had symptoms from it. So it took three years. But but on different conditions that I've seen, I've seen people have like arthritis, for example, and it took the person like six, maybe eight months to really get the true benefit and not have arthritis anymore and to be able to get off his pharmaceutical medication. So it really depends on so many factors. What I can tell you is that it's a lot like exercise. You don't just exercise for one day and expect to get a ton of results. It just doesn't happen. It needs to be a lifestyle, guys. But the good news is, is that hydrogen is really easy to implement into your lifestyle. It's not like diet or exercise, both of which are much more difficult than just drinking water and making sure that you're drinking a certain level. But it's not just the amount of water you drink, obviously the levels of hydrogen within the water, but also the inhalation. When you combine both of them, it's really ideal as some are more beneficial for different conditions. But if you cover both bases, I really think the best example I could come up with is like exercise and diet. You don't just want to have exercise in your lifestyle or you don't just want to have a good diet. You want to do both and that's really going to enhance each other and they're going to give you the greatest odds to getting the most benefit. So that is basically what I wanted to share with you guys and I hope it really gives you an idea of how long it'll take for hydrogen to really, you know, give you benefits. But you really are, I mean, again, I'm not going to sugar it. You're going to have to be using hydrogen regularly. And I will be making an, I'm going to uh, make an update. I'm going to be making another video soon. There's actually a doctor that I finally found that not only agrees with all the things I've been saying about hydrogen sticks and hydrogen pills and ionized or electrolyzed water, 
um, and he doesn't just agree with me because I don't even think he knows me. I just found that he wrote a whole article about it. So there was somebody out there who actually had the foresight to see that these are not good methods for making hydrogen. And he even went as far as doing blood work on patients and then having them drinking water that is directly electrolyzed or ionized. And then after months of doing this, he saw that all of them across the board had elevated levels of certain metals in their blood. So that is definitely not good. And obviously with like the pills and stuff, you're exposing yourself to different ingredients and those things. And he writes this whole thing. I'm gonna touch, get more detail on that for you guys. Cause that was a very, very interesting article that he wrote and very, very helpful because I feel like I'm the only guy talking about this and people don't realize the importance. Cause if you wanna get the benefits from hydrogen guys, you have to do it in a very clean manner because expect to be doing it for quite some time. So hopefully again, this answers your guys' questions. If it did and you found the video helpful, as always give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on the next video.